Hello YouTube, this is Marauders here and this is a DJI Spark Mini Drone and let's talk about one very interesting uh, point about this fantastic little thing which is the fact that unlike its other DJI products this thing has a normal USB port as a charge port instead of uh, any other proprietary connector so of course the one question which everyone has once you see something with a USB port is so can I charge it with a USB battery pack so here I have my Xiaomi uh, 10,000 10,000 mAh uh, battery pack and yep it's a bit old Can't, I don't think you still see the markings on it but basically what this is this is a high amperage uh, battery pack it's capable of delivering 5 watts at 2 amps so let's just enough talk let's just plug it in so the drone is currently at about 50% I'm just gonna plug it in oh actually my battery pack is almost out of power okay but you can see it's charging now from my previous test which was the one that drove this battery pack to its limits uh, charging the drone to about 100% uh, from 15 takes about 1 hour 20 minutes around there it's, yeah so it takes roughly about <clears throat> an hour an hour more than an hour an hour 20 minutes to fully charge a drone from from its critical low power state but now here's the thing this is the charger that came with the smart this thing charges it in 45 minutes so that means the, there's obviously something going on with that the the fact that the 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 charger that came with the spark can charge it much faster there must be something interesting going on and there is if we look at the voltage rating on the charger so we'll see that it actually says on the okay it's not in english uh, i'll point it out to you guys i'll highlight it in post but basically the output is instead of just saying a normal 5 volts uh, and number of amperage the output of this charger has it's very interesting it says 5 volts 3 amps 9 volts uh, 9 volts 2 amps and 12 volts 1.5 amp that's not the usual usb charge voltages that i see it's usually just 5 volts so i was doing some checking on the internet and this particular combination of uh, power of uh, voltage this is in line with the usb power delivery specifications profile 2 so basically they call it the usb power delivery profile 2 specifications and uh, here's something interesting xiaomi has a new one of their newer battery packs which is charged using a USB-C instead of a USB micro A port now this particular battery pack other than having a USB-C as a input port also has the same voltage uh, specifications as a Mavic as a DJI spark charger uh, Okay, uh, okay, I should, I'll, I'll, I'll add it in post. Okay, so it has the same voltage uh, rating as the, as the spark charger. So again, it's, uh, it says 5 volts, 3 amps, 9 volts, 2 amps, and 12 volts, 1.5 amps. So, the question then is, does this battery pack charge it as fast as this? yes this battery pack is able to charge the spark from 15% to 
at roughly 45 minutes. So it is as good as the charger that came with the Spark itself. Um, so I, so the main thing here is that would mean that anything that does support USB power delivery profile 2 should be able to charge it just as fast. And here's where it gets confusing. If you want to just try and look for a USB charger just with these numbers on the box, you will note that uh, most of them are saying that they are supporting the Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 specification. Uh, there are nowhere on the DJI Sparks box says it supports the uh, Qualcomm Smart Charge. So if you bought a Smart Charge charger 3.0 charger thinking that yep the voltage lines up, yeah, it's probably not going to work. The other issue that I saw is that every any other USB-C charger that says it has uh, it's able to output these voltages, which most likely means that it supports the power delivery profile. The output port is always on the USB-C. The problem is the problem here is that the Sparks port is a micro A, so I need. I haven't actually tested yet. I'll need to get either a USB C to micro A cable or use a USB C to USB A socket and then plug in the normal cable, then see if it charges as fast. But uh, I guess that should be it. What you are looking for, if you really want to charge your spark fast, you need to find something that's capable of doing USB power delivery. Through the through your charge ports, um, from what I can tell is that I think if you see that the your ch the charger says that it supports charging a MacBook Air, which also uses USB C to charge, and I would suppose it requires high voltage, that should work. Yeah, and it it. It's probably safe to say if they say that they can deliver 3 amps from a single USB port, it also might be able to charge it fast as well. Uh, the, yep, your mileage may vary because this is all pretty new. The USB power delivery is still pretty new and everyone is still mucking about through all the standards that's why you have the Qualcomm smart charge and everything so your mileage may vary uh, I was very lucky that I found this Xiaomi charger that supports USB power delivery because they have another one on their website which is also USB-C it's a bigger it's uh, it's a 20 20 uh, milliamp, milliamp uh, bat battery that one, even though it has the same voltage rating, that one specifically says it's a smart Qualcomm Smart Charger 3.0 battery pack. So I don't think it might work the same. So the, yeah, this is currently the only battery pack that I've seen so far. But then again, well, it depends on where you are, I guess. Now of course, so one thing I like to point out is that DJI, just like any other uh, device company, in the manual they very specifically said that you should only charge it with their charger. So even though I have been able to charge it with my USB power supplies, is there because of all the weird voltages and weird quality of stuff that that comes out. Uh, Please don't hold me responsible if your spark ends up getting burned by charging it with any USB battery pack. And also, if your spark battery does die because it's being charged by some other U USB power supply, yeah, it might help to not let DJI know that in case they say that that simple act voids your warranty. Okay? Once again, don't hold me responsible if anything goes wrong. This video is purely for educational purposes only and purely drawn from my experiences with my hardware. Okay, so that was how well does the DJI Spark charge from a USB battery pack and this is Marauders. 
I will see you all in the next video.